Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today is the very first video of Declutter Week 2020. In today's video, we'll be going through all of my primers, foundations, concealers, and face powders. And by face powders, I mean like just setting powders, not like bronzer contour. That'll be another video entirely. This has been a long time coming. I really needed to A, reorganize my whole makeup collection and B, do a thorough declutter because there are products in here that I know I want to get rid of, but I just haven't had time to sit down and film these declutter videos because they take forever to film, but it is needed. I need to clean this. I need to reorganize this and we are starting now. All right, so we are in my Alex 5 drawer. The very top drawer has been traditionally kind of like my tools that I use in my makeup application, as well as just my foundations. My primer drawer used to be in this acrylic drawer over here, but I had so many primers, it was just like impossible to keep it to the one drawer. So I moved my primers down here. So these are all my primers and my foundations are spread out over here and then whatever I had in my basket is right up here. My goal is to declutter so that comfortably all of my foundations and primers will fit in this Alex drawer. I think I want to go through the primers first. So we're going to scoot down to here. Here we go. And I'm going to move this stuff to the side. So I keep my makeup removing cloths right here just so that they're in within reach when I'm doing my makeup in the mornings. I also have my color switch and I just keep a little thing of Q-tips because these are very helpful just in everyday makeup. All right. So here we have our primers. First, we've got these essentially these putty primers so this is the original poreless putty primer this is a brand new one i have as a backup this is the poreless putty primer i am using right now and it is almost empty um this is the makeup revolution version of the poreless putty primer it is very reflective i'm going to be keeping all three of those i love the elf putty primer if you missed it i did a video where i compared that to the tatcha and I prefer to the e.l.f. so I'll link that up in the cards if you're interested. So I'm going to keep all of those. When it comes to these, hmm, I wanted to clutter this one. This is from Wet n Wild and this is the Dewy Face Primer. I have other face primers that I reach for when I want something dewy. So like I just, I never reach for this. So I'm going to declutter this one because it's almost like brand new. You know what? Same with these two. So this one is the e.l.f. Luminous Primer. I bought this for my full face of e.l.f. And then this is a serum from Wet n Wild and I just don't reach for this. I think this is too fragranced for my skin and I just, I put it away thinking I would reach for it at some point, but I'm just not. And this e.l.f. Primer, I think I really only used for that e.l.f. video. I'm not reaching for it otherwise. And these can be used by someone else. So I'm gonna declutter both of these. Hmm, let's see, let us see. This one I should like bring into a basket and finish up because it's like halfway gone. But this is the Revlon Pore Primer and I actually really like it. It's pricey for the drugstore, but not pricey when you compare it to other pore filling primers. So I'm gonna hold on to this one. Speaking of pore filling or blurring primers, this one from Cover Effects. I think I got this in like a subscription box or something. I've had it for a good long time, but whenever I'm looking for a blurring primer or a pore filling primer, I'm not reaching for this. And I need to not keep holding on to it just because it's pricey. So this one, it's like more than halfway gone, but I think one of my friends will really like this and actually use it. These two I'm definitely going to keep holding on to. This is the Garnier Skin Active BB Cream, which is, it's a BB cream, but I actually really like it as a primer, which is why it is in my primer drawer. And then from Charlotte Tilbury, I have the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Let's go over here. We have this primer from Shop Miss A. This is the AOA Studio line. This is the Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer, and I have to say, I really like this. I don't like it as much as their blurring primer, but it's a good primer. So I'm gonna keep this. These are actually both eye primers and I've been slacking a bit on using my eye primers that aren't like concealer or new eye primers. This is an eye primer from NARS and then I have one from Lorac. So I'm gonna keep these two because they're both basically brand new and I just haven't used them yet. But this one I'm gonna get rid of. This is the Milani eyeshadow primer and I've honestly had it for a long time. Yeah, I've had it for too long and I don't reach for it as often. I prefer like a more full coverage eyeshadow primer, but this does work. Like even on my hooded lids, it is a good primer, but it's thin and it doesn't cover up like discoloration or veins or anything. But other than that, it actually is a good primer. 
I'm just not reaching for it and I need to make space. Next we have this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in Pore Minimizing and I'm also not reaching for this. Same as the cover effects, like if I want a pore reducing primer, I've got more affordable options. So I am going to declutter this one. Last but certainly not least, we technically have a color corrector in here. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm using it, but it was not worth the price. I can 100% say that now. Um, so I'm gonna keep this and actually use it. And then I have a mini of the Tatcha Silk Canvas, and I do want to use this when I eventually do the next uh, putty primer foundation showdown, like with the Makeup Revolution, with the new e.l.f. putty primers, because I do have both of the new primers. I have to move them into here, but I want to hold on to this. This is basically new because I only want to use it like for those comparison videos. Oh my god, look how much better that section looks. Ah, oh, I love it so much so let's scoot this out a little bit because now we have the rest of this is just for well not this this is going to be for my tool still but the rest of this is going to be foundations let's start with the foundations that are up here because these have been basically in my everyday makeup basket for a while this is a white foundation mixer from la girl that is basically empty like i'm scraping it right now so this is very close to being an empty so i'm going to keep it in my everyday makeup basket until it is an empty i basically have the same thing with these two foundations this is the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir and this is the abh luminous foundation and they're both almost empty i've actually been liking a lot mixing these two together so i'm just going to continue mixing them until they're both empty i think i only have like two more uses if that out of both of these so then they'll be empties Let's see, up here. So we have the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. We have the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate and the Ordinary Serum Foundation. This one is also almost empty and I want to finish it up. So I'm going to keep this in my basket until it's done. I seriously considered decluttering this. Since I've had it for so long and like, I don't know, I'm not really reaching for it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to it. Like I've been thinking about it a lot I'm gonna give it like it's gonna be on the chopping block like if by the time I go through this drawer again if I don't reach for it as much as I should it's gonna be gone but we're gonna hold on to that for now and this conceal and hydrate foundation I actually like it but it actually is pretty too light for me so I've been using this to mix in with foundations that are too dark so I'm gonna hold on to this one it's not my favorite not my least favorite it's kind of a, a middle of the road foundation moving to a foundation that I just could not get to work for me at all is this Juvia's Place foundation. I used it by itself. I mixed it. I lightened it. I just, ugh, I couldn't. I did a whole video with this. If you missed it, I'll throw it up in the cards, but I just can't. I need to get rid of it. <laughs> Next, I have all of these bottles of the makeup. Uh, this is the Wet n Wild Pump Makeup Locker BB Cream. I really like this, but I don't need this many of them. And I'm going to declutter the shades that don't match me because I have light medium and then I have fair light and I'm definitely more fair light than light medium. So I think it's these two. Yeah, these two are light medium. They're too dark for me. Someone else can get use out of those. And both of these are fair light, which is going to match me a hell of a lot better. So I'll keep these two. All right, next we have a foundation that I also love. Um, now it doesn't actually match me as well as it used to, but when I first got this, uh, the shade matched me perfectly. <laughs> this is the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation from Catrice. I have two bottles. Um, do I need the two? Yeah, I'm going to keep on both of these because I don't know if there's a better shade match for me now. I think they extended their shade range, but for now, this is the closest. I can lighten it. I know it's a great foundation for me, so I'm going to hold on to both of these. Here we go. Time to talk about two foundations I hated so much. This is the LA Girl Pro Matte HD Foundation and the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation. Both of these look terrible on me. Tear. I could, no matter what I did, it just was not working, <laughs> right? So, yeah, I tried everything I could. They're just taking up space. I need to just, I need to get rid of them. This is from Makeup Revolution, and this is the Fast Base Foundation Stick. I have the shade F2, which is my closest shade match. I love this for, like, a quick makeup application. This is perfect for traveling. It's medium coverage. It has, like, a satin kind of finish, so it doesn't look dry. It doesn't look oily. I love this thing to death. And I'm pretty sure I'm, like, almost... Well, I'm, like, halfway through it. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep this because it's the only foundation stick that I've actually, like liked 
these two foundations are sticking around because they are literally brand new. I got them yesterday. This is the Wet n Wild New Photo Focus Dewy Foundation, and this is the new Milani Screen Queen. I keep wanting to say Scream Queen. <laughs> Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. Next, I have a backup of my Dermacol, which I keep the actual Dermacol in my uh, concealer drawer because I use it more as a concealer. I hope this doesn't expire. Like, I haven't opened it, but I've had it for, like, a while. So I'm going to keep it in here until I can confirm whether or not, like, it expired. But I don't know why I bought a backup because I don't know if I'll ever actually go through a full-size Dermacol, you know? Back here, I also have a backup of that white mixer from LA Girl. I'm going to have to pull this out soon, so I'm going to have to buy another backup because I go through, like, those like nobody's business. This is something I can easily, like, get rid of because I bought it thinking I would use it, but I'm pale. <laughs> this is... Uh, from Catrice and these are prime and fine makeup transforming drops and they're supposed to like darken a foundation But let's be honest There's like one foundation in here that I would have to darken and I can just do that by mixing it with another foundation. So These are literally brand new. I thought I would use them, but I didn't so someone else can get better use out of them Let's actually open you up next I have literally a brand new bottle of the Estee Lauder double wear foundation And I, I really liked mixing this foundation about a year ago And so I bought a backup, but I just haven't used the backup since so i'm gonna keep it out of the box place it here and see if i reach for it at all and then if i don't uh, i'll declutter it next i have this misha uh bb cream that i love this is the shade 27 it's more than halfway gone i'm gonna keep it then we have the Too faced do you foundation i you know what i, I like this but the shade it oxidizes so much it looks kind of crazy and I don't reach for it just because of that and because of how smelly it is. It's very fragranced, super fragranced. So I'm not reaching for it. I, I don't want it to take up space. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this one. So it looks like we're finishing with 14 foundations and I got rid of six, which, eh, it's like a, what, a third, a quarter? I don't do math, but this is definitely what I wanted it to be. So I'm gonna rearrange this now so that this is once again open for the tools that I'm gonna be using. This is so much better now. I love this. There's room in here. It's not too cluttered. These are all products I like reach for or I'm going to do my best to reach for more and it just it's oh, I love this. So now that we're done with foundations and primers, we're going to do concealers and then my face powders. All right, so here we are with all of our concealers and my goal is just to get these to fit, <laughs> fit in the drawer. All right, so I know I'm not reaching for this one. I know it's almost empty, but I'm just, I'm not using it. This is the Wet n Wild Illuminati Highlighting and Concealing Pen and I just need to get rid of it if I'm not using it. This I think I'm going to get rid of as well. This is the, um, like a white mixer from uh, LA Girl for concealer and I'd never, I reach for the foundation lightener. I never reach for this. So it is practically brand new. Someone else can get used out of this. This is gonna go. All right, let's see. We have a Dermacol. I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of the Dermacol, so that's gonna stay. Uh, same with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I love this concealer stay now these two from la girl i've got the salmon color corrector and i have the concealer it's a decent concealer but i have found other better affordable favorites so i think i'm going to keep the salmon color corrector and declutter the actual concealer all right let's talk about these makeup revolution concealers i actually really like the conceal and hydrate more than the conceal and define so i'm going to keep the conceal and hydrate in c1 and I, I'm going to get rid of the conce Conceal and Define in C5 because that shade just does not work for me and it's kind of just like blur and taking up space. But the shade in C6 is still pretty decent and I've actually been using this a lot as an eye primer. It works really well and I still like this one so I'm going to keep that along with the Conceal and Hydrate. This one is like almost empty. This is from Maybelline. It's the Superstay Concealer and I actually really like this. I've cut it open and I'm currently scraping out what is left. So this will be gone soon. I'm going to just keep it in my everyday makeup basket until it's gone. These two. These are basically concealers I'm only keeping because they make decent eye primers. I think I can get rid of the Juvia's Place one. The Juvia's Place base products just have not been working for me. It makes an okay eye primer, but I have plenty of eye primers. So this is going to go. And this one, I think I'm going to hold on to this one just as a white eyeshadow base should I ever need one. 
I have the Kylie concealer in the shade. What shade are you? Gypsum. This is not my right shade at all. But I do love the concealer. So I'm going to hold on to this because I still have to figure out like what my shade would actually be. This is a new primer, not primer, this is a new concealer I literally just picked up and I used it for the first time today and I look uh, disgusting. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> this is the e.l.f. Uh, Hydrating Camo Concealer and I just, I haven't had any luck with e.l.f. concealers ever. So I'm gonna keep this in my basket and if I still don't like it after a few more tries, that's gonna go straight away. Okay, so these two concealers, these are both from Ulta Beauty and these are the Full Coverage Liquid Concealer and the Youthful Glow Concealer. I really like the original concealer. The shade doesn't match me as well anymore, but it was such a good concealer. Not as much of a fan of the Youthful Glow. So I'm gonna declutter the Youthful Glow and we're gonna keep this original one because I think this is the lightest warm shade that they have. So the shade ranges need some work, but I still really liked that one. And last but not least, we have something that's quickly become like my go-to concealer. And this is the AOA Studio Liquid Concealer. I have the shades Porcelain and Fair Ivory. And Porcelain is definitely my closest shade match if I want to lighten under my eyes. And Fair Ivory is more for spot concealing, but it's, oh my God, it's $1.50 and it's one of the best concealers I found. So definitely keeping these two. So we got rid of seven concealers. One is basically an empty and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we did almost half. So it was like 40% uh, gone, which is better. I love how this works. This is just better and I'm actually going to be using these. All right, and last but not least for today's video, we're gonna be going into face powders. And honestly, I don't think there's too much here I want to declutter. I think I've done a good job of like keeping these in check, but let's just go through what I have. All right, so first is a new powder. Well, not really new, but it's new to me that came totally shattered and I have to try and repress it because it's still wrapped. This is the AOA Studio Finishing Pressed Powder in the shade Ivory, and I love the face powder but they're so fragile that sometimes when they ship them to you, they end up like this. So I need to try and repress this and it, oh, it's getting everywhere. Oh no. Next we have a face powder that I've used for a while and I still love and I always stock up on whenever the balm has their sale. This is the Sexy Mama Translucent Powder and it is like still a go-to powder. I've got two backups here and then actually in the Z palette, I have one that I've hit pan on right there. So that's still a really good face powder. I like it. I'm gonna keep keep them on backup and when they're on sale you can get them for ten dollars each which i think is a steal for this powder this one i think i'm going to hold on to as well this is from milani and this is their face powder in the shade light tan technically it's not really a face powder it's more like a really light bronzer on me because it's too dark for me to use but i've already hit pan and i like it as a light bronzer so i'm gonna keep it next we have these two that i think i'm gonna have to declutter just because the shades do not work for me even though i love the powder this is the stay matte powder from rimmel and it's in the shade 004 sandstorm but it's just too dark for me to use and i don't like using this as a uh, bronzer so someone else can get better use out of these. I still love this, so I would definitely purchase this in a lighter shade to use because I've panned a couple of these and they're great, but these just, I don't know why I'm holding on to them if the shade doesn't work for me. Same with this Clinique powder. I used to use it to like darken foundations when they were like too light for me, but like it doesn't work as great for me. So <laughs> I'm gonna declutter this one. All right, next we have this powder from Positions Formula and it's a pretty okay powder. It's the healthy powder. I, I don't know why I have the poof. I don't like the poofs in there, but it's a decent powder. What shade are you? LN3. So I have to try the shade again and see if it actually matches me. This one I think is my shade. So this is an hourglass ambient lighting powder in diffused light. And I think that is light enough. Yeah, that's light enough for me. So I've already panned completely an entire uh, ambient lighting powder. And I have one that I have hit pan on that I'm trying to finish up for my Lust for Lux project pan. So I'm gonna keep on to this because it's a pretty pricey powder, but I actually like the formula a lot. Oh, I gotta clean. So everything that's individually packaged is done. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of anything in the Z palette. This is a Wet n Wild duo, but this is a decent face powder. This is the, the Balm powder. And then I think this is a, oh, so this is from the Ice Smashbox Trio, which is a contour and highlighting trio. So I'm gonna hold on to that as well. So it's, excuse how messy this is, but these are still decent face powders and I'm gonna hold on to them. So overall, I didn't really end up getting rid of that many face powders. It's just three and it's because they don't match me well shade wise. But I think it's because I've gotten better at 
controlling like the base products like I'm only keeping products that work well for me even though I go through face powder fairly quickly since I literally wear it every day I think I'm better at knowing what's good for me what's affordable and working through what I have now these face powders live down here next to my blushes my bronzers and the loose powders but I literally I only own two loose powders right now so they're not even enough to declutter so the next time, not maybe not next time, but in another video in this declutter week, we'll be going through the rest of my face powders, my face palettes, literally everything in my collection we'll be going through this week. So thank you guys so much for watching this first video. Let me know down below if you like the series and if you're excited for the next declutter week video, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.